How do you say UFO in Espanol? Dolphins calm down and we hear about a guy who took nine shots in the body, one in the face, and lived to tell the tale. All that plus your theories on why all the world's snakes are disappearing. It's all coming up on Weird Things TV. For this, June 14th, 2010 edition of the program, I'm Justin Robert Young, editor of WeirdThings.com. UFO sightings have gone south of the border down a Mexico way, according to inexactica.blogspot.com, which is the best for any kind of Latin American paranormal news. Don't let anybody tell you any different. They report that a few Mexican pilots have said that while flying into Mexico City on the San Mateo Corridor, there is a little arrowhead vehicle that flies with them for a couple miles. No one knows what it is. It's either white or black. It's been reported both ways and it flies about 10,000 feet up in the air. It also flies closer than is federally allowed by Mexican aviation regulations. No one knows what it is. It may be a UFO. Is it maybe a military prototype? Is it maybe an awesome hang glider doing the do? Your guess is as good as mine, but it's apparently freaking out these Mexican pilots. Maybe he should report it on his Mexican radio. Stop it. Think it's easy being a dolphin? Think it's just sunshine and crackers, delighting wayward sailors, helping Floridian teens solve mysteries and learn life lessons, waiting until the Vogons come and destroy Earth because you're secretly the second most intelligent species on the planet? I read that book! 42! References! It ain't! Sometimes you're going out hunting and you're trying to get a fish and you're like really close to it. Then Jerry swims all up next to you trying to get all up on your business and you're like, back up brother. I'm trying to wrap my bottle nose around that. But he doesn't, he just stays on your six. And you're like, listen, if you don't pump your brakes, I'm gonna stick this fin so far up your blowhole, your weird tongue's gonna taste it. And in that case, your friend comes over and as scientists have now discovered, gives you a little burst pulse. I don't know what it sounds like, but I'm gonna guess it's like So he goes It's basically the dolphin way of saying Dude, bro, dude, bro, dude, bro So we've cracked the code Hooray Your friend, my friend, the world's friend Brett Roundsville, the Amtrekker, the man who traveled around the country uh, completing all of his life goals, he is now writing on weirdthings.com. We are very happy to have him. You saw him on our Weird Things Live podcast, and uh, he's going to be here on a semi-regular basis. In fact, every day this week, he's writing about the weirdest survival stories in history, and boy, does he start with a doozy. Wenceslao Mogello, a Mexican revolutionary who was shot by a firing squad nine times and then once in the head to make sure the job was done, which is ironic because it wasn't done. And he just laid there until all the soldiers went in to go, I don't know, have a smoke and high five each other for murdering a man and then just snuck off into the woods. He got medical uh, attention and then spent the rest of his life with Ripley's Believe It or Not. How awesome is that? And by the way, if you're that firing squad and you hear that this dude's out on the street, how can you not just be like, that's awesome. I totally shot you in the face. Good news and bad news about Wenceslau. The bad news is, since all this happened in the early 20th century, he wasn't able to launch a rap career. The good news is, he, and this is not a joke, had a song written about him by Chumbawamba. Yes, that Chumbawamba. And it goes a little something like this. Ten good shots, I'll take them all. They call me a fusilado. Toe tapping. And now let's get to some comments from last week's episode. We had a story about how eight species of snakes have lost 90% of their population and scientists have no idea what the hell's happening to them. We asked for your theories and boy did we get them. Go, no it's not that. Here we go, uh, T-Bone621 suggested Chuck Norris. Obviously. VOC 771 said the Irish are killing the snakes. Don't trust them or you'll be next. A little xenophobic, but I can dig on it. And Diggy had our favorite, which was, who's missing these snakes in the first place? A fusilado. That about wraps it up for this edition of Weird Things TV. If you want to read our Twitter, it is weirdthings.com. On Twitter, if you want to read our website, it is weirdthings.com. But until next time, for Weird Things TV, I'm Justin Robert Young. Stay weird. Find out how to buy the Amityville Horror House by clicking on the picture. Click it. Click it. You know you want to.
Get that clicking going. Mmm, that's a mighty fine click.